example one, we are going to learn how to calculate the number of moles of ions in one substance. So the stem of the question would look like, calculate the number of moles of ions in iron 3 oxide. Now we've been given the name of the substance, so we have to work out the formula. And because it wants us to calculate the number of moles of ions, we want to write out the ionic formula. So we start off with our SVSDF. The symbol for iron is Fe. The symbol for oxygen is O. The valence is given in the question for iron, which is 3. And the valence of oxygen is 2. Metals always lose electrons to form positive ions. So therefore, the non-metal will be a negative ion. We need to make a sandwich and wrap it up. So that becomes iron 3 plus. I mean, it's put brackets around it. And then we have oxygen 2 minus and put brackets around it. We swap over the valences. The highest number both be, can be divided by to keep it a whole number is 1. Which means that the formula is Fe3 plus in brackets 2 bracket O2 minus close bracket 3. What we have to do next is we have to write out the ionic formula. And we have to calculate the number of each ion that we have in that formula. So we have two Fe3 pluses because the two is outside the bracket. And we have three O2 minuses. The total number of ions that we have then is two plus three, which equals five. This past paper question is from the higher 2019 multiple choice 13. The number of moles of ions in one mole of copper two phosphate is, so we firstly have to work out the ionic formula using SVSDF. The symbol for copper is Cu. The symbol for phosphate is PO4. Valence of copper is given in the question, which is two, and we choose page eight to find the valence of phosphate, which is three. We need to remember to make a sandwich and wrap it up. So the copper becomes two plus in brackets, and the phosphate becomes three minus in brackets. We swap over the valences. Highest number that can be divided by is one. And that means that our ionic formula is bracket Cu2 plus close bracket three, bracket PO4, three minus close bracket two. We then have to count the number of each ion that we have in the formula that we've worked out. We have got three copper ions and we've got two phosphate ions. When we add those up together, three plus two gives us a total of five, which means the correct answer to this question is multiple choice answer D. Second example, we're going to learn how to calculate the number of moles in ions when we have two substances. A mixture of lithium chloride and lithium phosphate is known to contain 0.6 moles of chloride ions and 0.2 moles of phosphate ions. How many moles of lithium ions are present? So the first thing that we have to do is work out the ionic formula for each of the substances provided in the question. So the ionic formula for lithium chloride is Li plus Cl minus, and the ionic formula for lithium phosphate is Li positive in brackets, with a three outside the bracket, bracket PO4, three minus. We add up the total number of each ion that we've got, so we're going to just start with the lithium chloride. The ratio for the positive to negative ions is one to one. In the question, we have been given 0 0.6 moles of our chloride ions. So we can pop that directly underneath the one for the chloride. And we will need to scale for the number of moles of our lithium ions. One times 0 0.6 divided by one would give us 0 0.6 moles of lithium ions present in lithium chloride. We do the same thing for the lithium phosphate. Our number of each ion that we've got from the formula is a three to one ratio. We are given 0 0.2 moles of phosphate. So we pop that directly underneath the one and we would need to cross multiply to scale. Three times 0 0.2 divided by one would give us 0 0.6 of our lithium ion in our lithium phosphate. So for us to work out the total number of moles of lithium ions, we would do 0 0.6 
plus 0 0.6, which would give us a total of 1.2 moles of Li positive ions. This past paper question is from the higher 2018 multiple choice 12. A mixture of sodium chloride and sodium sulphate is known to contain 0.6 mole of chloride ions and 0.2 mole of sulphate ions. How many moles of sodium ions are present? So we first have to write the ionic formula for each substance that we're given. So the formula for sodium chloride would be Na plus in brackets and Cl minus in brackets. Sodium sulphate would be Na plus in brackets with a 2 outside the bracket and SO42 minus in a bracket. We're going to start with the sodium chloride. We're going to do a ratio of each ion, which is a 1 to 1. We've been given 0.6 moles of chloride ion, so we pop that underneath the chloride ion. And we cross multiply to scale. 1 times 0.6 divided by 1 gives us 0.6 moles of sodium ions in sodium chloride. We do the same thing for the sodium sulphate. The ratio is 2 to 1. We have been given 0.2 moles of sulphate ions, so we pop that directly underneath the sulphate ion. And we cross multiply. 2 times 0.2 divided by 1 gives us 0.4 moles of sodium ions in sodium sulphate. If we want to add the total number of sodium ions, we would have 0.6 plus 0.4, which would give us a total of 1.0 moles of sodium ions. Multiple choice answer, D.